Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I'm Star. The message I heard is wear your clothes. Next door you do, you have helpers. And then screaming, you have helpers. <clears throat> the scripture comes from 2nd Estras 4 and 5. And I said, speak my Lord. Then he said to me, go forth. Weigh me a weight of fire and measure me a measure of wind and or call me again the day that it is past. So here's the message. God said for someone, there is someone um, that is basically being very judgmental towards you. And they are doing this in such a way like i just feel like this person is trying to act as if they are they themselves are god and they themselves know so much and they control everything and i just feel like this is someone they feel like they should be able to control what you're doing and how you're doing it and you know just like with this message like it was just like someone screaming saying you should do this and you should do that first of all i just feel like this is somebody you don't have the same opportunities this person does you may not have the same kind of help this person does you may not be willing to do the same kind of thing this person will do um this may be someone that doesn't mind sharing clothes with their neighbors this may be someone that doesn't mind sharing clothes with friends family whatever and i feel like for whoever this is you're not doing that you gonna wear your own stuff you know what i'm saying and then i'm even thinking about i know me personally even if it was <laughs> i remember i had uh met this person that was like you should change your wardrobe you should like i was dating this guy his parents were like you should change the way you dress and you should do this you should do that you should um you know get rid of all the old stuff and keep the new stuff and they like gave me a bunch of clothes and they gave me a bunch of clothes then they were saying that i should get rid of some of my clothes i got too much clothes and i threw out all the clothes they gave me and they were just so in shock and apart like they thought i was gonna keep that stuff and i was like i don't want that i want my stuff you know what i'm saying and even when they you should go out and buy some new clothes you're right i should i went and bought stuff that i liked you know what i'm saying i just feel like this is somebody that is thinking that you should be doing what they want you to do and they're trying to pressure you into doing what they want you to do i feel like when the clothes in this um message is kind of like it's your identity because we dress according to how we you know whatever we got going on you know what i'm saying i feel like i dress like a mama i'm typically in like workout clothes you know what i'm saying that's just what it is and you know when i go out i might you know put on me a little pencil skirt or a little dress or something like that throw some heels on but for the most part i wear my little workout clothes and my slides and i'm i'm good you know i wear the purses that i wear and that's that and i just feel like um this is somebody you have your own way of dressing you have your own style you have your own vibe and that's just you and somebody they feel like well maybe if i talk about them and make fun of them they'll change and even if you sit around you hear what they saying you may laugh you may not it's not you know even if it if you makes you feel some kind of way even if it hurts your feelings regardless if you cry about it or if it just makes you feel bad it's not a situation to where you change and you throw out your entire wardrobe because of what they said this is somebody you have your own personal identity and you are who you are and you're not gonna change who you are just because this one person don't like you even if it does hurt your feelings that they don't like you even if it does make you feel bad that they don't like you um i know me personally i am who i am I'm not going to change myself in order for specific people to like me because then that will be a disservice to myself. I'm going to, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be me. And that's just that. I'm not going to try to make my voice sound a certain kind of way. I'm being reminded of the movie. Uh, what was that uh, movie with 
I think it was br bringing down the house like with Queen Latifah when he kept on trying to tell her that she should talk a certain way and she if she acted a certain way she could have a certain a good job or she could do this that and the third and she was not gonna be me and uh, that's how that's how i feel like i'm gonna be me regardless i'm not trying to be like nobody else i don't want you know what i'm saying somebody trying like people always uh people that be trying to talk down on me in the comments say i don't want to be you boo I don't want to be you. I don't want to dress like you. I don't want to wear my hair like you. I don't want to wear my nails like you. I don't want to live the exact same way that you live. I don't want that. That's not the life that I have going on. That's not my past don't look like yours and my future not either. I am who I am. And that's just that. You know what I'm saying? I like I have lost everything twice and went and just about bought, bought the same stuff because I am who I am and I like who, what I like. It's not a situation where I'm trying to be somebody else. I don't want to dress like nobody else. I don't want to wear my hair like nobody else. I don't want my nails to be the same exact length as somebody else and the same colors and this, that. No, I am me. And that's that. And I always been that way. My nickname Star for a reason. Like it's in uh, legit. Star is not my first nickname, but it's the nickname that stick. Most people don't forget that I said my nickname is Star, and they know me as Star because of the way that I am. I always wore my hair different. I always have my nails different. You know, makeup and uh heels that just don't even make sense clothes I, like that's just me that's a part of my personality that's part of who i am i'm not trying to be like nobody else and that's just what it is i'm not finna i'm not finna twist and change myself and mold myself to be a mini me or somebody else because that's not who i'm destined to be i'm destined to be myself i'm the original of me and i ain't trying to be like nobody i don't want to be a duplicate of nobody and that's just what it is. And I feel like for whoever this is for, there's somebody they keep on thinking that they can mold you. And maybe if they do this, and maybe if they do that, and maybe if they say this, and maybe if they say that, you'll get it. You're not going to be the mini-me of them. And that's just what it is. And even if it, even when it comes down to, not to say this is a parent, because I really feel like this is somebody that may work with you, or it could be somebody that's an associate of yours or something like that. But even when it comes down to parents, you know, as far as my son, I realize that he is his own little person. He's a mixture of me and his father. So it's not going to be a situation where he's going to be just like me. And it's not going to be a situation where he's going to be just like his dad. He's going to be him. And that's just what it is. Even though he got his father's name, you know what I'm saying? He's still going to be himself. And that's okay. And I just feel like some people, like, they don't get that. Some people feel like when you're working with them and, like, maybe like a manager, and they may see attributes of themselves in you, and they think that you're supposed to be just like them. You're not going to be just like them because you're still yourself. Just because you're good at that job don't mean that you're going to be an exact duplicate of them. Um, it could even be a situation where you are dating someone. Like, what I was talking about, you dating someone, and they... Regardless if you are a female and their mom or you're a male and their dad are trying to put their own attributes onto you and trying to take you under their wing and make you a mini version of themselves. You know, don't nobody want to marry an exact duplicate of their parent. And you may have similarities to their parent because obviously daughters look up to their father for men and uh, what a male, a male role model and what a man is supposed to be and... Uh, Boys look up to their mother as far as what a female is supposed to be and uh, as a female role model. But it's not a situation where you're going to want to be with somebody that is exactly like your parent because that's weird. You know what I'm saying? And that's just what it, it's odd. It's strange. It's weird. And even if it's, you know what I'm saying? Even if it was a situation where you were just almost exactly, you had the same likes and you had the same dislikes and stuff like that, it shouldn't be a situation where you dress like them and you know what I'm saying and you look like them because that's weird. Like for one, the age difference should be there. 
Shouldn't nobody be dating somebody that, you know what I'm saying, is so similar to their parents that they dress the same. Because what's going on? Either their parents are dressing like they still young or the person they with is dressing like they an old, uh, older person. And, you know, I'm not trying to say an old person. I'm not trying to do that. You know what I'm saying? No offense to nobody. But y'all know what I mean. Shouldn't no 20-year-old be dressing like they in their 60s? And that's just what it is. That don't make sense. It's weird. It's strange. You know what I'm saying? People that are older in age, they don't dress like they 20 still. You know what I'm saying? And I know that there's the few that sprinkled out and they different and that's fine. They do their thing. But I'm just being real. As far as um when it comes down to it, that like you're not finna look for somebody that's an exact duplicate. You will look for somebody that has similarities, but not an exact duplicate. But anyways, God said when it comes down to it, this is somebody they getting very frustrated and irritated because they keep on trying to make you be a certain way and you're not doing it. God said you already fit the mold of what you're supposed to do and who you're supposed to be. You shouldn't have to change. It don't matter how much help they feel like you got or they think that you got and you should be able able to this and you should be able to that you still gonna be yourself that's just like if you looking at a relationship like let's say um your person is looking at their parents or a family member or a friend's relationship and the man is allowed to cheat with whoever he wants to so he think that he should be able to cheat with whoever this is a whole new story it's a whole new playground no we're not doing that and you entitled to say that and can't nobody get mad at you because you feel that way. And it could, regardless to if it go down to y'all ain't intended to be together, maybe they need to be single. Or if it's a situation where you just not the right fit for them. But when it come down to it, you know, they can't compare you to somebody else and say that you need to do this, that, and the third. No, you don't. Because you're not them. Anyways, that's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Deuces.